to have one of his now robots at the Museum of Science and Industry from today on. So we'll be the only museum around the world where you can come every day and see one of his robots performing. So um, if you're familiar with our Fast Forward exhibit, it's a survey of individuals, visionary individuals whose groundbreaking work is building our future, developing our future. So if you want a glimpse of your life of what's coming, Fast Forward is the place to see it, and we are very honored to feature Bruno in our new Fast Forward exhibit. So um, after the lecture presentation, we can have questions and answers, and if you saw the robot dance and you want to see them again, they'll be in the rotunda at 4.30, and if you didn't see them dancing earlier, you don't want to miss this presentation. So without further ado, here's Bruno. Thank you all of you for coming and for your interest in robotics. Uh, I have so many things I'd like to speak about and I could speak about that for hours. So I've chosen some uh, different approaches. And <coughs> just to begin, because I don't know whether everyone has seen the show, I want to show you a few, two videos to, to, to introduce what I'm going to say later. to demonstrate what this robot is able to do. But it's just demonstration, fun. Now what may he do in reality? What may, how can he be useful? So here is another video. Mateo is 10 years old. He's a robot I didn't have the facilities and the, and the health of Notre Dame. 
they've just given me faith, they've given me hope, and their commitment is just so strong. They don't know the answers, they'll find the answer. The University of Notre Dame asked, what would you fight for? Fighting for breakthroughs in the treatment of autism. We are the Fighting Irish. So there are many, many applications of the robot.